and the second heritage came out for the tribe of Simeon by their families, and their heritage was in the middle of the heritage of the children of Judah. And they had for their heritage Beersheba and Shema and Molada, and Hazarshual and Bala and Azem, and El Talad and Bethul and Horma, and Ziklag and Beth Markaboth and Hazar Susa, and Beth Lebaeth and Sharuan, thirteen towns with their unwalled places. An, Rimon, and Ether and Ashan, four towns with their unwalled places. And all the unwalled places round about these towns as far as Baalath Bir Rama to the south. This is the heritage of the tribe of Simeon by their families. The heritage of Simeon was taken out of Judah's stretch of land, for Judah's part was more than they had need of so the heritage of the children of Simeon was inside their heritage. And the third heritage came out for Zebulun by their families, the limit of their heritage was as far as Sarid. And their limit goes up to the west to Merila, stretching to Dab's height, and to the stream in front of Jonium. Then turning east from Sarid to the limit of Kisloth Tabor, it goes out to Dabrath, and up to Japhia. And from there it goes on east to Gath Hefer, to Eth Kazan, ending at Rimon, which goes as far as Ni. Nee. And the line goes round it on the north to Hanathon, ending at the valley of Ephtahel. And Kadath and Nahalal and Shimron and Idala and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the children of Zebulun by their families these towns with their unwalled places. For Issachar the fourth heritage came out, for the children of Issachar by their families. And their limit was to Jezreel, and Chisalath, and Shunem, and Hapurim, and Shun, and Anaharath, and Rabbath, and Kishon, and Ebez, and Remoth, and Enganim, and Enhada, and Beth Pase. And their limit goes as far as Tabor and Shahazamah and Beth Shemesh, ending at Jordan, sixteen towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Issachar by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. And the fifth heritage came out for the tribe of Asher by their families. And their limit was Halkoth and Holly and Bidon and Akshaf and Alamelech, and Amad, and Mishol, stretching to Carmel on the west and Shear Libnath, turning to the east to Beth Dagon, and stretching to Zebulun and the valley of Ephtael as far as Beth Emek and Neel to the north, on the left it goes as far as Kabul, and Ebron, and Rehob and Haman, and Kenna, to Great Zidon. And the limit goes round to Ramah, and the walled town of Tyre and Hosa, ending at the sea by Heleb and Aqzib, and Umma, and Afek, and Rehob, twenty-two towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Asher by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. For the children of Naphtali the sixth heritage came out, for the children of Naphtali by their families. And their limit was from Heleph, from the oak tree in Zananim, and Adami Hanakeb, and Jabneel, as far as Lycum, ending at Jordan. And turning west to Aznoth Tabor, the limit goes out from there to Hukok, stretching to Zebulun on the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah at Jordan on the east. And the walled towns are Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Rocketh, and Chinnereth and Adamah, and Rama and Hazer, and Kadesh, and Edri, and Enhazer, and Iron, and Migdalel, Horam, and Bethanath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Naphtali by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. For the tribe of Dan by their families the seventh heritage came out. And the limit of their heritage was Zora and Eshtal and Ir Shemesh.
and Shalaban, and Ijalan, and Ithla, and Elon, and Timna, and Ekron, and LTK, and Gibethon, and Baalath, and Jehud, and Bani Barak, and Gathriman. And on the west was, opposite Joppa. But the limit of the children of Dan was not wide enough for them, so the children of Dan went up and made war on Leshem and took it, putting it to the sword without mercy, and they took it for their heritage and made a place for themselves there, giving it the name of Leshem Dan, after the name of their father, Dan. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Dan by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. So the distribution of the land and its limits was complete, and the children of Israel gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a heritage among them. By the orders of the Lord they gave him the town for which he made request, Timnath Sarah in the hill country of Ephraim, there, after building the town, he made his living place. These are the heritages which Eleazar the priest and Joshua, the son of Nun, and the heads of families of the tribes of the children of Israel gave out at Shiloh, by the decision of the Lord, at the door of the tent of meeting. So the distribution of the land was complete.